Hey, got a minute? Good, pull up a chair. I wanna talk about melees. No, no, not the greatest game ever made. The art of whacking other people with your fist, or in the case of warlocks, whacking people with space magic. Let's be clear, in the world of Destiny, melees aren't as important as gunfights, for the most part. The ability to land your shots with your pew pews and outgun opponents is likely always going to trump how effectively you can slap people in a game of PvP. That being said, melees ain't nothing. Nothing. As a dirty shotgun lover, me and a lot of other people who play Destiny frequently find themselves engaged in both close range and mid to close range combat, so while not the most important aspect of Destiny PvP, meleeing does come into play fairly often. With that in mind, I'd like to ask a simple question. Why does the Warlock melee f suck. As many of you out there, I'm sure, know, this is not exactly a new issue. Back in the day, especially in D1, Warlocks had by default the longest melee range in the game, which I gotta say was quite nice if you are a Warlock main. And I can't remember exactly when, but at some point in Destiny's lifespan, I guess some of the player base complained that the Warlock base melee range was maybe unfair, and Bungie responded by clipping that extra range that Warlocks had, which resulted in all classes having the exact same base melee range. And just to clarify, yes, this is still the case. All classes in Destiny 2, as of the making of this video, all have the exact same maximum base melee range. Now, when I say base, I mean exactly that. Obviously, we aren't taking things like the Hunter Throwing Knife into consideration because that was very clearly designed as a ranged melee, which I'm not talking about right now. Same thing with every other ranged melee, including the Titan Throwing Hammer, the Hunter Smoke Bomb, or the Warlock Ball Lightning Melee. We're talking about base melee range. Straight up, no weird ranged abilities, no buffs, just hitting people normally. So I'm guessing that whenever Bungie brought in previously mentioned Warlock Melee range, they likely also forgot to tweak the only drawback to the Warlock Melee at the time, which is the speed of the melee. Let me show you what I'm babbling about. In terms of throwing out your melee and connecting with another dude, the Warlock isn't any different than the Jumpy Boys or the Crane on eaters. Comparing each melee at the exact same frame of activation, the initial speed is all the same. If you go slow motion, it might look like the Hunter and Titan melees are faster because they're closing in on the target quicker, but the moment of impact and damage happens at the exact same time for every class. Here's where things begin to get assy for the Warlock though. Melee recovery time, aka throwing out other melees after your first. Take a look at this. My buddy put up a Titan bubble and a allowed me to slap him silly in a private match for about an hour, and the results show that not only am I a bad friend, but that when meleeing repeatedly as fast as you possibly can, the warlock falls way, way behind the competition. Trust me, just in case there's any doubt, we tried this multiple times, and we were never, not once, able to get the warlock melee speed to catch up with the other classes. Even when we mashed the button so damn hard, I thought my keyboard was going to break. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is not a new new issue. Warlock players, I'm sure, have noticed this for a long time, and there was even a Reddit thread on it at the tail end of 2019, which Cosmo from Bungie replied to, quote, We let the dev team know that there is still feedback on making Warlocks have the same speed between melees as the other classes, end quote. The obvious keyword there being still. Originally, I wanted to make this video because I wasn't exactly sure how widely known this information was. After digging up this Reddit post, I'm definitely glad it's apparently on Bungie's radar. I'm sure they have much bigger fish to fry, which I understand. I would much rather them focus on other things like the sandbox at large, designing better game types, prepping new content, yada yada yada. But at some point, goddamn, can a floofy boy get a better melee? I'll tell you what, in those situations where you're suddenly in a fist fight with some random jabroni in PvP, it sucks big time losing the double melee fight because you're a warlock. When I switch to Titan, and win those fights, I feel like goddamn Mike Tyson out here. And look, I understand that the comment section right now on this video could 100% break out into a case of, well, warlocks shouldn't have a good melee because they already have a good 
fill in the blank with whatever here. Every class has something that's cool or unique or powerful. Every class. Titans have shoulder charge. Hunters have a one-hit knife. Warlocks have handheld supernova. We could have that discussion all day. But the point is, if you're going to trim back one thing from one of the classes to make sure it's in line with the other classes, i.e. melee range, you gotta throw us a bone and also make sure that the overall speed of the melee is taken care of as well. Well, otherwise you aren't making all three classes even in that one aspect, you're putting it below the others. I mean, or hey, you could give Warlocks back our OG melee range and I'd be happy to also keep the slower recovery time. And speaking of range, can we quickly talk about how the Warlocks one subclass that has the extra range contact melee aka top and bottom tree stormcaller is wildly short when compared to both top tree arc hunter and bottom tree arc titan? I mean really, look at this, jeez. Both the the Hunter and the Titan have such crazy better range than the Warlock Extended Range Lightning Smack. I get that both the Hunter and the Titan need to do something extra to activate their melee range. Hunter needs to dodge, Titan needs to injure an enemy. But again, I almost feel insulted by this lack of range. Warlocks have magic. Do you understand? Space magic that in no universe should be slower than a fist. Well, anyway, I think I've ranted long enough. Hopefully this gets tweaked in 2020 because I am tired of losing slap fights up close. To all my fellow floofy boys out there, consider this a friendly PSA and be aware of this if you weren't already. If you're out there losing a melee fight every now and again, odds are this might be the reason why, but it's not really a problem if you just land your shots forehead. Thanks very much for watching. Please remember to click subscribe and I'll see you next time.